Hey guys, welcome to SAR Trail. This is Natalie, I'm Jeff, and we are in Phantom Canyon Trail, dispersed camping right here in the canyon itself, right next to the creek, and it is a gorgeous sight. We came down to southern Colorado to escape some of the colder temperatures that are in the central part of the state. Uh, here we only hit a low of 13 degrees, so that's not too bad. <laughs> so check out our first time ever dead of winter camping. So if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, we have a ton of overlanding footage for you guys. Anything from actual winter camping to Moab to Arizona, all over Colorado to expos, new gear reviews, new highlights of new products that are coming out for the overlanding industry. And you're not going to want to miss any of it. Thanks a lot, guys. And check out this trip. So we found a great campsite and we're right on the creek. It's kind of iced over. You can still hear the water trickling underneath the ISO. So it's really cool right here in Phantom Canyon. And you can see there's tons of snow on the ground, but uh, we're going to get the tent set up, get the fire going and man, it's going to be beautiful. So we'll be ready here in just a couple minutes. All right, so I'm gonna show you around the campsite here. Got just enough light. You guys staying warm? I need different shoes on, but yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not, not yet anyway, right? <laughs> not yet. So we're expecting, it's, it's probably about, I'm guessing mid thirties right now. <laughs> Uh, in the shade, of course, this has been in the shade most of the day. And it's dropping down to 13 degrees tonight. We're at, I think we're right about what, 6,600 feet? 6,600 feet. So this will be the coldest we have stayed in our rooftop tent. We stayed in this in windy conditions in the 20s. We have been on a ground tent down at 23 degrees before. But uh, this will be the coldest we've stayed in this tent down to 13 degrees. But I'll show you, we we'll probably have to show you in the morning what we've done to keep ourselves warm as far as our sleeping conditions inside. It'll just be too dark now, but I'll show you our, our, uh, our methods of staying warm and we're gonna hope that they work because it's gonna be a cold one. How's that, baby? Good. Yeah, are those boots keeping your feet warm? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Will you enjoy the fire, you stay warm. And then it's going to be time to make some dinner. Okay, so we decided to make chili tonight since it's so cold. And we're just making it right in the Dutch oven, um, right over the campfire. So this should be ready in just a few minutes. Really good dinner. Mm -hmm. 
in. Cold. Yeah. That chili smells good. All right, guys, so we are up in our rooftop tent now. Um, we got enough light in here, we can kind of film a little bit. So we are playing, where is it? Okay, let me show you my cards. We're playing Uno. Don't look like. <laughs> so I don't have the greatest hand. So we'll see how it turns out. <coughs> so you staying warm, baby? Yes, I am. It's cozy in here. Yeah, it's really cozy. Uh, my toes are probably a little bit cold, but not too bad. So my toes are a little bit cold. I didn't bring um, snow boots. I should have brought snow boots. I wasn't thinking we were going to be in this much snow, but there's a probably a good 12, 18 inches of snow out there that we've been walking on in our entire campsite. And I'm just wearing regular hiking boots. So my toes got kind of cold, but other than that, it is really nice in here. And we are going to stay warm all night tonight, I am sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, down to 13 degrees tonight is our low, but there is no wind right now. When we got here, there was a little bit of a breeze, but we're down in this canyon, and I think the breeze is pretty much done. We had an awesome dinner tonight, baby. Thank you. Mm -hmm. She made us chili, a uh, little bit of cheese and some chips, sour cream, I think, for you guys, and it was warm. Oh, warm. We cooked it in the Dutch oven. I think you guys can kind of see it in the, the video. It's a little bit dark, but cooked it in the Dutch oven, and it was delicious. And that's one thing you want to do before you climb up into your tent in this kind of condition in the winter is just eat a nice warm meal because it just warms up your core. you got a full belly. Your body's going to work to digest and it helps hold your core temperatures. Also, another hint, if you got to use the bathroom, do it before you get in your tent because now we're starting to warm up the inside of this. And the last thing you want to do is open up, unzip something, let all that cold air in and us have to try to reestablish the warmth we have here. So we all ended up taking care of business before climbing up in here. And now we're playing a game of Uno. All right, we'll see who wins. But we're having a blast up here. I'm telling you what, this is an absolute gorgeous campsite. We'll show you more of the campsite in the morning in the daylight. And uh, we're gonna keep playing games up here. All right, couple rounds of the game Uno. And who won? Who won the first hand? Who was that? Daddy. Daddy won the first hand. And who won the second? Uh, I think that was mommy. Mommy. Mommy with the contact lenses coming out. And Bailey? Lost every round. <laughs> <laughs> Are you staying warm? Yes. Awesome, awesome. Who's that with you there? Daffy, Daffy, yeah. Duffy the bear. All right, guys, we're going to kind of hunker down here. We are all in our sleeping bags. We are bundled up. Uh, Natalie and I, we just got this two-person, zero-degree Teton sleeping bag. We'll kind of show it to you tomorrow. We have Bailey in... She has a 30-degree sleeping bag, which is certainly not sufficient for tonight, but she has two of them. So we stuffed one inside the other. So two 30-degree sleeping bags, which probably equates to about zero degrees. Hers is... Well, I mean, you can see it's massive. It's piled up all the way over there all the way up the side of the tent but I think she's gonna be super super cozy and uh, we're gonna go to sleep we'll see you guys in the morning but it's been a gorgeous gorgeous day we're super glad to be out here and this honestly is our first like serious winter camping um, we've done some winter camp well cold camping before in winter kind of conditions like in the fall, we've camped where there was snow and hail and whatnot, but this is our first time camping in like the dead of winter. But we did go a little south Colorado to try to stay a little bit warmer than we would have had we gone out to like Rocky Mountain National Park or somewhere just straight out into the like upper elevation Rocky Mountains. That would have been like negative degrees and we didn't want to do that tonight. But we're good. We're staying warm. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, we had a really good night's sleep. We stayed warm. Uh, 13 degrees is what the projected low was. I think we hit every bit of that. We haven't heard the final numbers yet because we're pretty much out of range. We have no cell phone reception here. But it's morning time now. It's beautiful. Um, we're in a very shady campsite. I don't think this campsite's ever going to see direct sunlight. But I'm going to show you around the campsite in a little bit. But right now we've got to get a fire going because it's still really, really cold. So we gathered some wood around the campsite. And we also brought some firewood with us, not knowing what we were going to run into here. 
I don't know if this is gonna work in this temperature. So at this temperature, these little lighter sticks we always carry with us, pretty much useless. So we've had to get creative and find some other ways. Um, we're taking a note now to always bring like the wooden match sticks. And we wanna get one of those things that you strike. It's like a flint, I think it is, Natalie. But the, the ones we've seen them at Overland Expos and different camping expos where you just kind of strike them, strike them, strike them, they spark, I think, in pretty much any temperature. We've gone the easy way, which turns out to be the hard way. But we're good now. We got fire, and we're going to get warmed up. And then I'm going to show you around our campsite in just a couple seconds. So in our desperation to get warm, we've kind of thrown some smaller limbs and whatnot just to get this fire really heated up. But then we have some larger wood we're going to put in. Uh, as this kind of gets us warmed up around here, but it's putting off some good heat now. Doing good, baby? Yeah. <laughs> so, Natalie, what do we have going for breakfast? I'm making some oatmeal and eggs, fried eggs. So, you know, hopefully it'll be nice warm breakfast. Awesome. We got the burner here, kind of using the case it comes in as a windshield. Is that heating up good? Slowly. <laughs> Slowly for sure, right? Yeah. <laughs> so let me walk you guys around the campsite and show you what we have. But this whole canyon that we're in is seriously, seriously gorgeous. And I wanted to get down here to the creek and show you guys what it's looking like. There's places where it's really iced over, and then there's places right in here where it's still running. Slowly, small sheet of ice across the top. Some areas are ice over pretty good. But you can just see how gorgeous this place is. It was nice last night. It was so quiet here. And you could hear the creek running slowly from our tent. And that's a really cool sound when you're sleeping, but that's the only noise you hear Every once in a while, a little bit of breeze, but mostly you just hear this creek babbling. You can kind of see now the whole area. There's the campsite over there. So while Natalie's getting us ready for breakfast, oh, the wind's picking up. She's gonna make us, she's got oatmeal coming on here. And then she's gonna fry up some eggs on the Timbo Tusk Scottle. And then we put those on top of the oatmeal. It's a very warm breakfast bowl. A little bit of hot sauce, right, baby? Yeah, it's good. A little bit of hot sauce. It's a super good breakfast to keep you warm. <clears throat> yeah. And then I want to show you how we're set up here in the rooftop tent. We have all of the windows closed and all the window awnings closed. As well, we had that to stay warm last night. So, it, so I want to show you inside of our tent how we stayed warm last night, because that's super crucial. <laughs> so hopefully we have enough light up in here. Kind of show you how we were set up. Okay, so you can kind of see. So this large bag here, this kind of gray colored bag, that's a double bag that Natalie and I slept in. That's a Teton Mammoth uh, zero degree sleeping bag. Thing is super, super warm. We also have a liner inside of it, which gives you another 10 degrees of warmth. So that made us down to a negative 10 degrees on that sleeping bag. And then we had Bailey here. It's kind of hard to, to show, but this green bag is hers. It's two sleeping bags, one stuffed in the other. You can still see our bag under here. So Bailey was kind of sleeping on our legs. But this bag is plenty long enough that we could make room for Natalie and I to have leg room, Bailey to have her room. And I think we all slept really, really well, stayed completely warm. So Bailey has two 30 degree bags. Those 30 degree bags kept her completely toasty. It's just one stuffed inside of another. And we had enough room. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was cramped but we had enough room to stay warm and stretch our legs out so we didn't get any cramps or anything like that. So good success for us. 
at a super cold night that we stayed warm and were able to manage just fine. And we had a ton of sleep because we went to bed. You know, we kind of laid down with the lights off at maybe nine o'clock, would you say, Natalie? Probably. Nine o'clock. And then we waited till the sun came up pretty decent before we got up this morning. Warm food, that's gonna be nice. All right, how are we looking, baby? It looks good. It's not as pretty as when we make it at home, but. Yeah, under the conditions, we'll take it. It, it looks pretty rough, guys, but that's a pretty awesome meal. We're gonna throw some hot sauce on the oatmeal and eggs, hunker down here by the fire, get warmed up a bit, and enjoy our breakfast. There. You can see here we're completely frozen over down here in the creek. You can see the water running underneath it, but anywhere where it has a chance to pool up for a little bit, it just gets frozen. And then over here, it's really thick ice. This is another pooling area. Watch out, Bailey, it's a little bit slippery. Yeah, that's absolutely just gorgeous. I'm gonna feed him. All right, check this out. Hopefully you can see it. We got two visitors to our campsite. Those two deer off in the distance. Oh, they're drinking out of the creek. Oh yeah, they're drinking. It's going now across. <sighs> right? That is, I and mean, you can't tell by the the video here, but that is seriously steep over there and they run up it like it's absolutely nothing. And they're gone. All right, Natalie's grinding us up some coffee. Hopefully we can get the burner lit again. Hopefully. <laughs> you can see Bailey off in the distance up there in the sunlight. Warm me up a little bit. It's nice to get a cup of coffee and I'm gonna get that fire stoked a little more so I can find some more stuff we can burn. We're running out of wood now, but I'll find some stuff and get it going good for us. Warm us up. All right, so now we're working on something else. What do we got going, baby? We are gonna try. <laughs> I don't know if this will work or not. This is um my kind of crazy idea. Cinnamon rolls on a stick. Yeah. Are they gonna stay on there? I don't know. I I'm hope. thinking no. If I squeeze them, there, go roast. Let's see, hold on. All right, so you got to do it really slow. Keep it away from the flame, Bailey. Yeah, don't burn them. All right, how's it going? Starting to plump up there a little bit. So we're getting some cooking happening. I think this would work better on a wooden stick, especially one that was soaked in water. It could kind of adhere to it better than these metal ones. These are stainless steel telescoping, and they get really skinny and slippery. But the key is just to keep it away from the hottest part of the fire because you can see I kind of charbroiled that one just a smidge on the top before it was cooked on the inside so it's kind of just trying to do a slow cook on it all right so we're gonna break off that bottom piece there that's hanging down and see how that is all right baby just pull that off it might be a little bit warm don't touch the metal it'll be hot just pull that off just pull it there you go try that out and see how that is Mmm. It's good, right? Yeah. Uh, nice. It smells Delicious. great. Yeah, check that out. I mean, it's not like a Cinnabon you'd buy at the, the mall. But then again, the mall doesn't have this setting. Let's try this out and see. Ah, oh, it's hot. Mm. 
That's pretty good. That's really good. Are you gonna have yours? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Hmm. Okay, so what we did with this one is we wrapped it like a cinnamon roll would be, and then we just harpooned it instead of trying to wrap around the skewer. So I think this is gonna hold up a whole lot better. All right, check this out. This guy is looking like a cinnamon roll now. Check the bottom side. That guy's plumping up really nice. All right, here you go, baby. Okay. Take that guy, watch your hands on the metal. Mm. Tell me what you think. Good. That's the best one of the day right there. <laughs> That's good. Bailey, you keep working on yours, okay? I'm going to get this fire going a little bit better. Okay. All right, check this out. Coffee percolating. It's going to be done in just a couple minutes. That is a beautiful sight this morning. All right, got our coffee ready? Let's see how that guy looks. Got some half and half down in there. Yep. That's warm. Yes, it is warm. <laughs> a little bit more. Very good. A little bit more there. Let me see. Ah, oh, that smells good. Really good. How is it? Good. It's good. All right. Let's yeah. enjoy. All right, we paused here for a minute just to admire this incredible view in the canyon. You can see up across the other side of the canyon. 
It's really stunning. Canyon walls on down, and you see the creek down there. Really beautiful way out of the canyon. Hey guys, I gotta tell you, Phantom Canyon Trail is one of the most beautiful trails you could possibly do in your 4x4. There's amazing spots to camp out, camp for the night, camp for a couple days, whatever you wanna do, day camp if that's your thing. And there's tons and tons of spots. The trail, like we told you earlier, it runs from Canyon City to Cripple Creek, Colorado. You can take it in either direction and you're gonna see massive canyon walls you're gonna see Aspen Grove like we're in right now. You're gonna see snow covered ground if you're here in the winter. You're gonna see some sunny spots where there's no snow. You're gonna see a creek frozen over. You're gonna see a creek flowing really well. It just has absolutely everything. And there's tons of bridges. Some of them have 100, 150 foot canyon below. Some of them it's less. Lots of bridges, two rock dug out in the rock tunnels. It's super, super gorgeous. If you're coming to Colorado or you live in Colorado and you wanna do trails, Grab a copy of this book. Here it is, Colorado Backroads and Four-Wheel Drive Trails. We're gonna put a link in the description. You're gonna want this book. It's gonna tell you kind of where the camp spots are on this trail and other trails. It's gonna tell you all of the awesome trails throughout the incredibly beautiful state of Colorado. So we are almost to Cripple Creek. It's just over there where the sun is shining and we're heading there right now. Natalie's holding the camera and she's shaking. It's 18 degrees right here, a little breezy. So we're gonna hop in. But hey guys, thanks for watching this our trail video. And we got tons of more footage coming out for you guys. So give us a thumbs up please because it really does our channel a lot of good and it helps us continue to put out more and more content for you guys. So until next time, we'll see you later.